Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams and in this video we're going to talk about converting to vertex form. Alright, vertex form looks like this. y equals a x minus h quantity squared plus k where h and k is our vertex. Okay, so it still has that um, squared piece which makes it fall into the quadratics. Okay, so it's a vertex form and we had standard form before. So remember to find h and k are vertex, it was negative b over 2a and then f of negative b over 2a. You plug it back in. Alright, so we're going to convert this function in standard form to vertex form. So I have y equals 2x squared plus x minus 5. So a is 2, b is 1, c is negative 5. So first I'm going to find the vertex. It's negative b over 2a which is our h piece. So that's going to be negative 1 over 2 times a, which is 2. Negative 1 over 4 is the h piece. And I'm going to plug that into my equation to find the k part. So it's going to be 2 times negative 1 fourth squared plus negative 1 fourth minus 5. Negative 1 fourth squared would give me 1 16th. Multiply that by 2, I get 1 eighth because I really get 2 sixteenths, which simplifies to 1 over 8, minus 1 fourth, minus 5. And then when you're dealing with fractions, remember you have to have a common denominator. So I can make 1 fourth become um, a denominator of 8 if I multiply it all by 2, so that give me 2 eighths. And I can make 5 wholes become, have a denominator of 8 if I multiply it all by 8. So 40 eighths. All right, now I can subtract and I get negative 41 eighths. So my vertex is negative 1 fourth comma negative 41 eighths. So now I'm going to plug it into vertex form, which is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Well, a I already know is 2. h I found out to be um, negative one-fourth, so when I plug it in, it's already a minus, so minus a negative makes it a plus one-fourth squared, and then plus k, but k is a negative, so it's going to be a minus 41 eighths. <clears throat> All right, this one, convert to vertex form. So I have x squared minus 3x plus 6, a is 1, b is negative 3, c is 6, I'm going to find the vertex, so I'm going to find the x piece, so h, negative b over 2a. So that's going to be negative, negative 3 over 2 times 1. So negative, negative 3 becomes positive 3, so I have 3 halves. And then I'm going to plug that in to find k, f of 3 halves. So it's going to be 3 halves squared minus 3 times 3 halves plus 6. 3 halves times 3 halves gives me 9 fourths. And then 3 times 3 halves gives me 9 halves. And plus 6. Now I need them all to have the same denominator, which I can make 4. So it's be 9 fourths minus 18 fourths minus 6 times 4 is 24, so 24 fourths. Now that they all have the same denominator, I can go ahead and add and subtract, and I get 15 fourths. Now I'm going to plug it into vertex form, which is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. a was 1, so you can put the 1, you don't have to put the 1, um, and then x minus h was 3 halves squared plus k is 15 fourths. Okay, and you can write it with or without the 1. Alright, this one, I have y equals negative 2x squared minus 4x. So in this one, I don't have a constant term. I don't have a c term. But a is negative 2, b is negative 4, and c would be 0. So I'm going to find h, which is negative b over 2a. So negative negative 4 over 2 times negative 2. Well, negative, negative makes it a positive 4 over negative 4, which gives me negative 1. 
Now I want to find k, so I'm going to plug negative 1 back into my original function. So it's going to be negative 2 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1. So it's going to be negative 2 times 1 plus 4. It's going to be negative 2 plus 4, which gives me 2. Now I have h, k, and I also have a, so I can plug it into vertex form. a is negative 2 h is negative 1, so when I have minus negative 1, it becomes a plus 1. Quantity squared plus k is 2. So there's vertex form. Alright, this one, it's missing a b term, so b is 0. So a is 4, b is 0, and c is negative 16. Okay, so how did I know there was no b term? because I didn't have a term that had just an x. I had an x squared, so the number in front of the x squared term is my a, and then I had a number that didn't have any variables, so that's my constant, which is c. All right, so I'm gonna find h, which is negative b over two a, so that's gonna be negative zero over two times four. Zero divided by anything is zero. So h is zero, now I'm gonna find k, so I'm going to plug 0 into that function, so it's going to be 4 times 0 squared minus 16, 0 squared is 0, times 4 is 0, minus 16 is negative 16. So now I have h is 0, k is negative 16, and a is 4, so I can plug that into vertex form. So a is 4, h is 0, and k is 16, and if I want, I could kind of condense this so that'd be 4x squared minus 16. So it just goes back to being in standard form. Okay, but if they ask for it, it has to be in vertex form, then you want to write it with the parentheses, even though it's a zero in there. All right, that's it.